a CT scan is uh, basically an x-ray where you lay on a table and pass through a scanner. And it's uh, very quick, it's safe, and uh, very low dose with radiation. It's a great way to take a look at the lungs. It's very easy to get in and out for a lung screen. The purpose of the scan is to really take a good close look at the lungs and see what the lungs look like after smoking. It takes only around uh, 30 seconds to 60 seconds to do a lung screen. A low-dose CT scan for screening is best suited for patients uh, between the ages of 55 and uh, 74 who are smokers or who have quit in the last 15 years and have the equivalent of 30 pack year history of smoking. That is, you know, one pack per day for about 30 years. Uh, we can even screen people who are asymptomatic and uh, there's another population if you're over age 50 and uh, have a greater than 20 pack year history and an additional risk factor such as family history or occupational exposure. Uh, besides smoking, uh, the main risk factors would be an occupational exposure to something like uh, asbestosis or uh, silicosis, uh, usually related to the sh you know, shipping industry or the mining industry. An additional risk factor that's probably the most common is, is secondhand smoke. The CT scan simply reveals your lung tissue. And we love to see normal lung tissue, but uh, what we're looking for are abnormal nodules, small, uh, round, abnormal growths in the lung tissue. Uh, here on this uh, scan, uh, we have the middle region of the chest, which we're not really looking at. Your lungs are these uh, dark areas on both sides, and in this particular patient, there is an abnormal uh, mass here in the right lung. This is the right lung and this is the left. Uh, we would like to see this uh, very black with fine lines like this which represent the blood vessels for your lung tissue. But uh, we see something like this and this is certainly abnormal and this patient has a very long history of smoking. When we look at these images uh, we try and divide the findings into four categories either normal and negative or uh, benign changes in the lung, uh, probably benign or suspicious. And in the last two categories, we recommend uh, follow-up with a pulmonologist, so a follow-up scan or an appointment can be scheduled and further evaluation can be made. So if you have any questions about your risk for lung cancer, you can certainly have a discussion with your physician. Of course, the most important thing is to stop smoking and maybe think about a cessation program, but we also have a survey available online and it's listed on the screen at the website below.